is how you make a bell. Uh, just like a melting point, I had to set a temperature, and so I'll do a ramp rate of 2. My start temperature is 105, because I know it's toluene, I know it's 111. Uh, if you don't know what it is, uh, you'll, you'll notice that you'll get a pretty good idea what the boiling point is when you do it. Um, uh, the, the rapid evolution of bubbles from the capillary usually give it away. Uh, but having said that, I know this is toluene, so I'm starting a few degrees below. A ramp rate of two degrees a minute is probably sufficient. I've got this thing warming up. Um, and when it's ready, I'll start running it. Um, so what you need to do uh, next is put in a little bit of toluene or whatever sample that you're trying to do. Um, just give my finger for perspective. You don't need a lot of material to do the boiling point. In fact, I don't think you really want to fill it up very much. And that was a little bit too much. Uh, one of the things that'll happen though, when you in don't insert the needle too far, and I don't know if you can see that, um, because there's air inside and it's a closed capillary. It doesn't go all the way in. The next thing you do is you stick it in a centrifuge tube or you can shake it down like an old fashioned mercury thermometer to try to get the material to squeeze into the bottom. So you can see I shook it. I can't show that and take the video at the same time. My finger in here, otherwise it doesn't focus on my hand here. You can see how I've gotten it to the bottom. Now I'll insert the bell. So I'm inserting the bell. You'll notice um, I bent this one actually. I don't know if you can see it. It's crooked, but it's it's good enough. It goes in. It was it bent while it was being uh, formed, and the bell can go in. You just make sure it slides in. To get it to fall initially, you can do that, or you can also shake it. You know, like this, shake it real hard and then the cap layer will go to the bottom. Yeah, it's in there, but it's probably a little more uh, organic material than I like. I'd usually keep it about here, uh, but that's okay. I think it probably still works. So now we'll record the boiling point measurement. Yeah, so we're just about ready to start. Uh, it says it's ready. It'll get to 105. That's where it's at the start here. So I wanted to, I wanted to zoom in and show you what this looks like when I put the capillary in, and I'm gonna stick it in the middle one. And you'll notice bubbles right away. That's not boiling, actually. Uh, that's actually bubbles that are forming um, inside the capillary is a result of ex the expansion of gas uh, in the capillary. Uh, oftentimes, you'll know it's that kind of bubble because if you look at the top of the, um, the top of the capillary tube over here, you'll see bubbles rising out. Now what's happened here is um, I had too much liquid in it, so it's pushed that liquid up. But those bubbles that are rising through there are not boiling, it's just uh, toluene and uh, sort of air vapor that's coming out from this tube. So we'll go back to this, I'm gonna start the temperature ramp, and I'll, uh, I'll fill you in on to what's going on here as it goes along. So right now we're at 105. I'm just getting my camera situated so it's not so shaky. There we go. You can see the open tube in the middle. That's the capillary. You can't see the glass very well, but you can see it if you focus. There's two lines going next to that open tube or that open section. Depending on the liquid that's in there, it's harder or easier to look at. These bubbles will keep coming out as um, toluene vapor 
continues to be generated at the face of the tube, but also as, uh, and displacing air. So as it displaces air, um, you'll see these gas bubbles coming out. Well, you see it's going fast, 107, but it's, it's not nearly what it will be when it's at the boiling point. Picking up a little now, but again, that's just um, vapor pressure increase. Remember, vapor pressures don't increase linear with temperature, they're exponential. So we're at 108 right now. I kind of think what's going on is you get this rapid expansion and it'll pause for a while as either the temperature is changing slightly differently or uh, you've displaced the air. Oh, it's trying to go back in. We're at 108.7, there we go. Going up. Or 9.2. Give it a second. Yeah, I think it's fluctuations in heating. Or 9.5. When you get to the boiling point, you'll see it's, it looks different. We're not even at the boiling point yet. Okay, we're at 109.110. Oh. One ten point six. It should pick up here in a second. One ten point nine. One eleven. This is actually the boiling point now. You'll see what's happening here in a second. 111.4. Now it's gonna start going really fast. Like I said, this is the indication that you've gone above the boiling point. So I'm gonna stop the heating. And I'll read, the important temperatures to read are the ones that you read back after the heating is done. 111.7, um, 111.4 is what the temperature we got for this one. So that's how you will do the boiling points. Well, that liquid sucks in when you drop below the boiling point of the liquid.